In this episode, I go out for some new adventures on the island of Crete in Greece and also start to see some results from my weightlifting. I had been living on the island of Crete in Greece for the past two and a half months. It was already December and some rainy days had started to come. Hello everybody, good evening. Bad weather today again, that's why I didn't go out of the house or the apartment. When the weather is bad, I just don't go out. But I'm gonna go to the gym. All right, I'm getting ready for the gym. I'm gonna get a protein shake. I'm gonna go to the gym. We're not gonna be lazy. We are gonna get in shape. Laziness is not for us. Just got here to the gym. It's time to do some chest and the back. It's time, it's time. I've been going to the gym consistently for the past two months and I finally had gained some weight. I want to get in shape because it's hard and because it's a challenge. I was doing chest and back today. Doing a bunch of chest, 16 sets of chest and uh, 12 sets of back. I've done a total of 16 sets back to chest and I finished off with 110 push-ups. Back is looking a little bit better. The next day. I got my snorkel with me and um, also my camera gear. Now I'm on my way down to the beach. The sun is shining. Perfect. So this girl I met two days ago, she was really nice actually. Seems like a nice girl. And what do you Hello. Say? <laughs> <laughs> I just speak um, and say what I do, you know. Mm. <laughs> now I'm here on the beach and uh, <laughs> I met my friend from uh, two days ago. What are we gonna do today? Go snorkeling maybe. And uh, maybe, uh, what else? <laughs> Go to the park. It's a beautiful day. I've been to this beach many times before, next to where I'm living. It's called Golden Beach, and I never really get tired of it. I've really been enjoying my time in Greece, living so close to the beach, and also in such a nice neighborhood. sunshine every day during the month of October and November. Now it was December, the weather was getting a bit more cold, but still some really nice days of sunshine. <laughs> now it's um, 1.04 and um, we are debating if we should go snorkeling or not. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks it's too cold, but I don't think it's too cold. Yes, I think it's a bit too cold. Uh, I will go, but maybe later. Maybe later. It's time to move out of the wind. We decided to go for a swim, and I would guess that the sea temperature was about 22 degrees Celsius. Drop my camera, this one. <laughs> we were swimming around for about 20 minutes, and then went to enjoy the sun. Uh, 3.10, and um, I'm starting to feel a bit sunburned because we've been here for two hours. But it's been also a bit cold. swimming. Hello everybody, I just came back home. Um, it's Friday afternoon and um, I got a bit cold on the beach actually, but it's about 23 degrees outside. But I got really cold, we swam for a while in the water. Look who's here again. Somebody wants food. Meow. Hello. A new uh, friend is here again. The cat. I've decided to call him Razor. Razor. Here you go my friend. Oh, I'm a treat for Razor. I've made so many new cat friends recently. There are so many of them here in Greece, and they live outside, but they are always hungry, so I like to give them food. It's their lucky day today, they're gonna get some uh, meat. I just said goodbye to Ramses, <laughs> Ramses and Razor. 
And I bet they are happy today because I gave them so much food. Later on. All right, uh, we have been driving up into the mountains here on the island of Crete. The landscape is looking really nice, bunch of mountains, and uh, it's time to pick avocado. Yes. <laughs> we will take avocado from uh, from our from friend. Our friend <laughs> sleeping there. If she's not there, we'll be <laughs> take it and go away. <laughs> we'll take it and go if she's not there. We so, are going to meet Kuklos. Kuklos. Who's Kuklos? Yeah. Who's that? A horse. The horse, yeah. It's so nice. Cool. <laughs> it's a big one, you know? It's uh, brown. It's named Kuklutz. It's meaning sweet. Look, so many oranges here. Oranges and fruit, avocado. It's so calm here. Almost no people. Bunch of fruit growing everywhere. Bunch of avocado trees, olive trees. And uh, oranges. Very nice, avocado. What is food? Mashallah. <laughs> so many avocados are growing here. And uh, it's free, right? Nobody owns that tree. No, nobody. Nobody owns the tree. <laughs> here we have some oranges also. Look, it's so nice. Everything is just growing. <laughs> One for you. <laughs> we had our bags full of avocados, so we drove away up into the mountains of Crete. Hello! <laughs> been driving around um, here on the island of Crete and now we're here at a really nice restaurant with an amazing view I just got um, one of the most famous dishes here in Greece uh, pork souvlaki it's um, pork on a stick with fries and a lime the food has been consumed <laughs> Now, what is gonna happen next? Where are we going? Go home back. We're going home later on. All right, I'm on my way to the gym. It's time again. Believe in yourself now. In my first video um, a few weeks ago, I had only one plate when I was doing squats to get ready and get into it slowly. But now I've been adding uh, weight uh, consistently. I did four sets, as many as I could. I finished off with light and weight. Also as many as I could. I also did eight sets of leg press. I also finished off with an ab workout and 110 push-ups. We're at the end of the workout. I'm gonna do the traditional 50, 30, 20, 10 push-ups. And that will be it. I had been eating a bit better and immediately saw some results. Another good workout. Hello, I'm on my way back home after a good workout. It's raining a bit. Uh, but uh, I'm really optimistic. The next day. I cut my hair yesterday. I don't know if it looks better or not. It looks a bit short, I think. I don't know if I like it. It was time for some snorkeling again with the girl I'd met a few days earlier. We were going to swim across to the other side of the small peninsula. The water was so clean and you could see all the way to the bottom, even when it was getting really deep.
outside, but it was getting cold, so we decided to head back. back from the adventure <laughs> over there now it's a bit cold Oof. but it was fun lots of fun cold after snorkeling still I've been in here for a while just trying to heat up now I'm uh, <coughs> eating up some uh, food also and then I'm gonna go to the gym hello everybody it's time to go to the gym I went snorkeling earlier today and uh, it was a good time that I got really cold in here and I've been actually taking a nap. It's a bit tempting to go and take a nap for a little bit longer <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that. It's already 7.20 in the evening. I had some uh, fries actually and meat sauce for dinner. <laughs> now I'm just trying to get a bit motivated. I might listen to Dr. Bombay or some other <laughs> motivational song. I still like my life here, it's a good time, but I've actually been thinking of going to Mexico. I might go to Mexico uh, at some point soon. Cenotes is what they call it in Mexico. <laughs> it's some kind of clean little lake and a bunch of caves you can swim into. Really cool. We are not going to be lazy anymore. Who we used to be is not us anymore. We're gonna be disciplined. It's time to become somebody else that we didn't think we could be. I'm on my way to the gym, it's raining a bit, and uh, here's now one of my favorite quotes, or a favorite sentence. It's not the movement of the clock that produces the newness of life, it's the movement in our mind. How do we interpret that? I interpret it as if, you know, it's not the movement of the time that produces the newness of life. But time always goes, and if we don't take action, then nothing is gonna happen. Time is just gonna go, go, go. We're gonna think, and we're gonna plan, but we're never gonna take action. We're never not gonna get anything done. I think when we first start to do something, and we see someone who has achieved much more success than what we have, then we start to think, wonder, how did he do that? There's a guy I've seen in the gym, he's in much, much better shape than me. Much bigger, much more muscular. I thought, how did he do that? But then now, when I've been going to the gym, I see him in there every single day. There's no magic, I think, to success in any area of life. It's just hard, consistent work. It's the only way. All right, I'm here. It's time to do some uh, biceps and shoulders and some abs, probably. Maybe also a bit back. <laughs> I was back at the gym again. I had gained some weight and my pull-ups were going really, really easy. My shoulders were getting a bit bigger, but I was still working on my arms. Two exercises of the shoulders, a little third press and uh, another one. I don't know how many sets, maybe 20 sets. Now I started to see some great results. My back was much wider, my shoulders were also bigger. My strategy is to pump out the muscles, do a lot of repetitions until it starts to burn and hurt. Oh, I don't know what I've done, I've done so much, I've done a bunch of shoulders and uh, back and biceps and... I had gained muscle mass, but also a bit of fat. I'm heading out from the gym. It was a good workout. I, rest. I rested yesterday and another day before that. I think we need to rest also. When we start to get really, really tired, there's, there's a point where it's better to rest. I think it's good to listen to the body also. If you get really, really, really tired, then you will know when it's time to rest, I think. Hello, just made some pasta and um, tuna. It's still nice here, but I said earlier that I might go to Mexico soon. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> Thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe now. Uh, no. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the icon in the down left corner. Thank you for watching.